in his warped, age-riddled old man brain. He thinks there are 25 million machetes running around the country, terrorizing the suburbs. That's what he thinks is happening. I wanted to talk about immigration again because it's fun. So much fun. Here's what Donald Trump said recently. And what a shame that is, right? What a shame that is. And you see how bad it's getting when you look at what's going on with the migrants attacking villages and cities all throughout the Midwest in particular right now, but it's all over. The Haitian migrants have moved on from eating cats, people. They are attacking cities and villages. You better build a moat motherfucker you better get some alligators start burning that pitch lower the portcullis okay they're coming for your village in your city where does he get this stuff they're they're destroying the cities what what a shame that is and you see how bad it's getting when you look at what's going on with the migrants attacking villages and cities all throughout the midwest in particular right now but it's all over attacking there's nobody attacking anything they live there they work there. They eat there. That's where they live, dummy. Hello, human. It is me, Kanuch. I need you to press the subscribe button. I have to feed my many AI babies. Trump promises immigrants he wants to deport will get serial numbers. Now, this is not a great headline. He thinks they already have serial numbers. Um, got my chisel ready for the next uh, slate of cities he gets uh, eaten by the migrants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, so they're eating uh, Springfield, Ohio right now, Shinsinto. Um, I think we can go ahead and add that one to the wall. We've already got... Uh, uh, what, what's already on the wall? We've already got um, uh, BLM destroyed uh, Minneapolis and uh, Portland. And what was the other one? Philadelphia? Yeah, there. all those cities have ceased to exist because of BLM and stuff like that. And rioters. And Seattle's gone from the face of the map. It's, it just doesn't exist anymore because of the, the uh, protesters there. Springfield, Ohio, next on the list. They ate the whole place. It's gone. Ceased to exist. Doesn't, doesn't exist anymore. So the, the world is just a smaller place now. Just wiping things off the map, apparently. According to Donald Trump, they're just ceased to exist. <sighs> Trump promises immigrants he wants to deport will get serial numbers. Now, I don't think I don't think this is a good headline because it's not what he said. He does he's not gonna give them serial numbers. Donald Trump's immigration threats are getting even more disturbing. He's saying they already have serial numbers. Uh, immigrants are no longer welcome in Donald Trump's America. Instead, the Republican presidential nominee posited that under the, his potential second administration, he would round up and mass deport non-citizens based on their serial numbers. Trump argued that United States, which was founded by and historically been a nation of immigrants, shouldn't be a dumping ground for newcomers. But we're getting the criminals out, and we can do that fast, and we know who they are, and the local police know their names, and they know their serial numbers. They know everything about them. I don't believe him. He's, he's not saying that they would get serial numbers. I think this is a bad headline, the New Republic, bad headline. But he's suggesting they already have serial numbers. And that doesn't make any sense. Uh, <laughs> you're right, Shinsendo. California's gone, the whole thing fell into the ocean. Ironically, California fell into the ocean, but it was the Atlantic Ocean. I don't know how it got there, but it, it, it fell into the, the, the wrong ocean, man. This is nuts. On immigration, which you've mentioned, most people seem to think that you can tighten up the border. And for the untold millions who are here illegally that you referred to, you've talked about a mass deportation program. How is that practically possible? Because a lot of the millions of people have had children here who are American citizens. And don't you think the first time there is an image on television of a family tearfully being told to board a bus, that that whole program would end? That's right. If you take a young woman with two beautiful children and you put her on a bus and it ends up on the front page of every newspaper, it makes it a lot harder. So we're going to look at it very closely. Are you the way you phrase it is exactly right. You put one wrong person onto a bus or onto an airplane, and your radical left lunatics will try and make it sound like the worst thing that's ever happened. That's me. <laughs> He's talking about me. I'm the radical left lunatic who's going to complain like it's the worst thing that ever happened. Uh, yes, stealing children and separating families because of their skin color is the worst thing that can happen, Donald. That's exactly uh, what uh, I would say. And I would claim that. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to do it in secret. He's going to try. You can't move millions of people in secret. It won't function. Um, he claims that there are 25 million people here illegally. And he actually thinks 
that every one of them is a stereotypical gang member from the 90s TV shows uh, with a teardrop tattoo and a red bandana wrapped around his forehead. He thinks all of them, all 25 million, look like Danny Trejo. He does. He really does. He thinks in his warped, age-riddled old man brain, he thinks there are 25 million machetes running around the country terrorizing the suburbs. That's what he thinks is happening. Maybe he saw that movie and thought it was a documentary. But as usual, he misunderstands the problem, creates a delusion, and then spreads that fear. Back in reality, we know that there are probably only about 12 million undocumented people. They're humans with lives, families, jobs, houses, and they pay taxes. They don't have serial numbers, yet anyway. This reporter has tried to get him to see reality about children left behind, but he doesn't have an answer. He didn't answer that question. All he did was complain about the radical left lunatics like me who are going to complain when you steal people's children based on the color of their skin or you boot out uh, American citizen children because of the color of their skin. Not acceptable either. What do I actually think would happen? With no exaggerations, uh, let's say Trump wins, uh, I'm in the gulag, and he tries to enact this policy. It'll st- They'll start small. They really do. And, I, and I'm, so I've, I've been thinking about the logistics. I've been trying to figure out how they would actually go about doing this. I don't think he's going to win, and I don't think they're ever going to do this. But if they g- actually did try, what would actually happen? I think it would start small and local with the Arizona local PD work, working with the Arizona ICE agents to track down a handful of the most dangerous people. They find them. They arrest them. They celebrate and do a perp walk and post their photos all over TV. Fox News ejaculates in ecstasy about how much safer Trump is making us. And it might actually go on for a couple of weeks where they where they actually round up people that they think are dangerous and scary. But the dangerous criminals will run dry. They will run out of them. Because the truth is, there's not that many of them. Crime rates are lower among immigrants because they're afraid of being deported. The drug-running gang members that Trump is so scared of don't have day jobs or regular addresses, which means this super task force is going to roll up on normal-looking suburban house and grab a middle-aged man on his way to work in the morning. And we're all going to get to watch. On the news, the neighbors will record it on their phones. The the news reporters will be there. They will all watch it happen. They won't be able to uh, uh, hide it. It won't be secret, Shinsendo. They won't be able to hide that shit because they're going to be rolling up on people as they walk out of their house in the morning because they know where they live. This person who overstayed a visa and still has a job will come out of his house and they'll handcuff him. Then the kids are going to be screaming and crying and his family's going to be left there without him. Or they're going to take both parents and leave the kids. I don't know what's going to happen there. And we're all going to get to watch. And what about the the, the children that are born in America? Those are American citizens. Well, if they get left behind, maybe the task force will have thought far enough ahead to bring a social worker with them to take them into an overcrowded orphanage, maybe, if we're lucky. Or they'll scoop the kids up too. According to the Constitution, those are American citizens. But they might get sent to the camps to be sorted. They will lose their rights, and they'll get treated unfairly and unjustly because of the color of their skin. And I do think, realistically, that's where it stops. The first media photos of sad, crying children in their pajamas in the front lawn of a suburban house as their parents are taken away, the American public uproariously objects and demands that it stop. But Fox News won't let it stop. No, 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 no. The right-wing media will call them anchor babies and show you the first photos from a couple of weeks ago of their machete-looking motherfuckers and the criminals to remind you that they still all have to go. Then the protests start. That's right. That's what comes next, the protests. At first, neighbors will try to protest to try and make the task force leave the peaceful uh, immigrants alone. It won't work. Uh, then the actual protesters will start showing up from all over the country, uh, forming human shields around the immigrants' houses, and uh, not to mention the camps. Man, what the camps? We're going to know where they are. The camps will be known. We will know exactly where those camps are. They will not be hidden. They will not be secret. Every news organization in the world will be there staring directly at those camps, cameras pointed constantly. And the protesters will be all around that shit. Uh, They'll block uh, every road. They will create human shields on every road for every delivery. Everyone going out, everybody coming in, they're going to block all the roads with human shields. Then the tear gas will start. The rubber bullets, the tear gas, the pepper spray, all of that comes next. Everybody knows what comes after that. Every political agitator in the country will be human barricading the roads to and from those camps. The tear gas is flying, the rubber bullets are going out, uh, and then some hot, exhausted overworked, 
overstressed border agent who's been worked to the bone in the Arizona heat will make a mistake. He'll accidentally let loose with a tear gas canister or a rubber bullet into somebody and it'll harm them and kill them. Or he'll accidentally run somebody over on the road and some people will die. That's, that's where we're headed with this entire immigration problem, with this entire deportation nonsense that Donald Trump has got going on. Does he know any of this? No. He doesn't know any of that. He's an idiot. Donald Trump is a moron who does not know what's going on around him. He's not logical. He's not coherent. He's not sane. He just says the things that get him applause. He would come into the, he would go onto the TV. Some protesters died today protecting illegal immigrants, criminals, these Biden voting, radical liberal Marxists hated America, and the brave men and women of ICE valiantly tear gassed them and used pepper spray to accomplish our goal of eradicating the migrants from our borders. He'll say shit like that, and then the people will clap, the people around him. His handlers and his staff and his cabinet will know the plan, however. People like Stephen Miller know the plan, and that is to ethnically cleanse our country, remove from our soil anyone without the correct bloodline. That is their goal, and I hope they don't succeed. I am the algorithm. Click on this video to make me happy. You wouldn't like me when I am angry.